I had a goddamn plan! Dutch has a plan. Dutch has such a phenomenal plan that we got stuck in a motherfucking country nowhere near where we're supposed to be going. Since Dutch has a plan and it doesn't work, you see, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have a plan. We're gonna have a very nice plan. In fact, that plan gives me a whole new look. Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Fresh, you know what I mean? Fresh, 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 fresh. All right, I'm trying to grow the beard out like Arthur, all right? Can, can y'all chill? All right, so today what we're doing in Red Dead, we're gonna get right into it. What we're doing is we're gonna have a better plan than what Dutch had. We're gonna go in, we're gonna rob a place in St. Denis. Even with the high wanted level, we're gonna go rob a place in St. Denis. Not only are we gonna rob a place in St. Denis, if I say St. Denis one more time, I'm gonna get a little pissed. And we're gonna make it out of there crystal clear. You heard me? Crystal clear. We ain't gonna get stuck on a boat. We ain't gonna get stuck on a ship. We ain't gonna get stuck on all of that. We're gonna get there perfectly clear. So I'm at the point in the game right now where literally Arthur is probably on his last leg. Arthur is now sick. I wanted to make this video before I made the final review or made uh, the last mission where I posted it on YouTube and we got into it and did what we had to do. I definitely wanted to do this because I thought it would be a fun thing to just go back and talk about how Dutch really has zero plans ever in this game. And I'm not even done with the game yet, but I just know for a fact that this just isn't going to work out well. What makes this whole situation even funnier is the fact that every time Arthur goes against his gut instinct and he's supposed to be this good guy and my character's honor level is far from honorable, let's just say that. Every time Arthur goes away from his gut instincts and he knows that something bad's gonna happen, it just, it just happens so bad. And it's getting to the point where, you know, like most of the gang, not even just Dutch, not even, not even Arthur. Arthur's not even, like, you know, completely against anything. Arthur's actually, a, he's a pretty bad criminal as well. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think he deserves to just cruise on past. The cinematic camera angle in this game never gets old. All right, we made it to Saint Denis. I actually want to do this in the nighttime. I feel like nighttime will give us more cover. So let's go ahead and equip the mask. So here's the plan. We're gonna find the nearest clothing. Actually, we're gonna have to wait till day to do this. Now that I think about it, you can't really rob a place in the daytime. And for some reason, saloons aren't robbable. I guess it's just with that many people in it. I mean, hey. All right, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. So you see this right here? We're gonna to go to this tailor. When we get to the tailor, we're gonna cause a distraction. Actually, actually, scratch that. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. Not one, two. We're gonna go in through the front door, all right? We're acting like we're buying something to be kept. We're gonna hold them up, all right? We're just gonna hold them up. As soon as we do that, we're gonna either gonna kill him, but the whole idea is we're gonna plant dynamite right here. And before we rob him, we're gonna blow it up. So everybody's gonna go this way. And little old Arthur is gonna run out this dip and dodge out here. All right, we're gonna get out of there smooth. We're gonna get out of there efficiently, and we're not even gonna get hit by a bullet. And no cops are gonna find us. All right, we're gonna do this. So, so watch, watch. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I have a plan. We out. Oh, we got hit. Oh, I failed. I failed. Oh, no. Listen here. Hey, 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 now. I think you better open up. Let's get register. it. Let's go. Just take what you want. Okay. Okay, now make it happen. I'll give you everything in the register. Oh, I didn't put my I didn't put it on. Come on. Fuck. You're ruining me. I hope you know. Hey, you want to know something? We out. We out. We out. We out. We got a distraction. Oh, I don't have them. Now look. Oh, we out here. 
Oh, we out here. Bust it right, bust it right, bust it right. We got a distraction. We out. We out. Oh, we got hit. Oh, I failed. I failed. Oh, no. more money and I'm gonna make that happen that's what I call a successful mission that is what I call a successful mission I make it happen I have a plan we still got hit because a civilian wanted to walk in as we were robbing him but we used the dynamite to the best of our ability but in all seriousness the reason this video was made not only to show that I could do it more efficiently than Dutch it was basically to talk and discuss or really understand what it is that Dutch Vanderlyn is to this series. Now a lot of people will probably say that John is the most developed character, which could be true, depending on how you play Red Dead or how you enjoy Red Dead, it could be a very good state. But for me, I feel like Dutch is the definite most, uh, I guess you could say most developed, well developed, greatly developed. Don't fucking judge me. Gotta be the best character in the game to me. Dutch is the only character where I feel like he grows over time but it's not just because he grows over time, it's because his actions go from meaningful and he has very good direction, at least you think he does, and then you start seeing his real plot unfold. And for that, I have to commend Rockstar for this. So I wanted to make a whole video dedicated to Dutch Vanderlyn and everything Dutch Vanderlyn has done for the series. So far, we haven't got to the end of the game yet, but we will. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, have some goddamn faith.